I'm absolutely shocked, okay? We have have in front of me is the Loot Crate box. The Loot Fright by Loot Crate. Long story shortened up a lot. Loot Crate has filed for bankruptcy. They're trying to restructure the company. They actually were bought out by the company Money Chess LLC, which is pretty much, I think, owned by the NECA company, which is a pretty major manufacturer of high-end collectible toys. I subscribed to the Loot Fright box way back in late February 2019. I was supposed to get my first box in March 2019. What I have in front of me, I haven't, I have not received one single box yet. I bought a whole year for 50% off when I had a sale back last February. Six boxes every other month. This is the May 2019 box. So I still have not received my March 2019 box. It's probably not coming. I'm going to have to chalk it up to a loss more than likely. I've emailed them probably two dozen times about that box and this box and the July box and the September box. So at least I got my first box, but I mean, it's only six months late. Does that sound right? May? Now it's October? Six months late? I guess better super late than never. But where's my March box loot crate? It's not coming. I get it. It's gone. So this I got half off. I think the normal price is like what? 30, 40 bucks. So I paid either 15 or 20 bucks for, for this box. It's got a t-shirt, some collectibles. Honestly, I expect most items in this box to be recycled from previous boxes, released a second or third time from previous boxes. It might not even be boxes that are loot fright boxes. It could just be the normal loot crate box, you know? So my hopes for this box, honestly, are pretty low. I don't expect much. At least I got something, right? Because I paid for the entire year up front because it's cheaper that way and you got it for half off, so. On top, I feel a t-shirt and maybe a stuffed animal, something squishy. I feel a book, a monthly pin. That might be it. Let's do a t-shirt first, why not? Let's see what it looks like. Okay, at least it's black. I love my black t-shirts. So here we go, first item from my first ever Loot Crate box that's only six months late. Here we go. Oh, it looks cool. We've got Frankenstein. Look at this cool shirt. I like that. I will totally wear this shirt. I like that shirt. It's a cool graphic. Quality of t-shirt actually feels nice. It is the bride. Oh, it is the bride of Frankenstein. The bride. Man size 3XL. A loot wear exclusive by Loot Fright. So, t-shirt, yeah. Quality on it actually feels pretty good quality. And I like the print. I really honestly do. This t-shirt, yeah, this t-shirt alone, I'd say is worth about 20 bucks. This t-shirt paid for the whole box. I like it. It's a good shirt. The back of the shirt on the back also has Loot Fright, so I can advertise uh, the subscription box that takes at least six months to get. So, yeah, first item though, I like it. I like it. It's a good shirt. I'm I'm good with that. Let's do the pin. I think it's upside down. Okay, we got Loot Fright. We've got the fog. Yeah, pin's okay. Kind of takes a second for your eyes to focus on what it actually is. It just it takes your eyes a second, but then it, it kind of starts focusing. So this was made in 2019, so it looks like the first two items are actually brand new to this box. They are not recycled from previous boxes. I give them that at least. At least they're trying, right? A little bit. Let's see. I let's go ahead. Let's just do the squishy thing. Okay. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We've got a leather face sealed in a plastic bag. This is a Loot Crate exclusive. It's made by the company Kid Robot. Uh, it was made way back in 2015. So uh, this is not new. But um, 
This is actually a neck. This is actually made by the company who now owns Loot Cray, but it was made four years ago. So, uh, but it actually was a Loot Crate exclusive four years ago. Not a Loot Fright, but a Loot Crate exclusive. So, this item is recycled from a box from probably three, four years ago at least. <laughs> Quality of it. It's just a normal little squishy soft doll that you'd get from like the little crane machine, you know, like you go into your to your Walmart. Most Walmarts have that crane now. You can put in like what a buck or two and you get a couple tries where the crane goes down, you can grab something, but the crane little hand, it's that's how the game is rigged is that the pressure on it is so light that the fingers actually pretty much are just like floppy, but you can't tell because whenever it grabs it, there is no real strength to the claw hand so it doesn't pick up very much stuff so it's like a claw machine quality recycled it could be worse it's not a bad little item honestly what i'll probably do with this honestly is halloween is coming up very soon i will probably just put this into somebody's um halloween bag or their you know, like you know like their candy Candy bag or candy crate, whatever they come up to the front door with, I'll give them candy and I'll give them this little plush doll. Why not? It's Halloween. Let's keep it spooky, you know? Oh, I feel something else that is not... Okay, there are actually, actually a few items in here. Okay, let me do this book. Then there's something else that's soft in here. Let me do this book next. What is... The Shining Journal. Okay, this is neat. Okay, this is kind of neat. The Overlook Hotel, The Shining Journal. Okay, I'm a huge fan of The Shining. I love the movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's probably like top top five favorite movies. And this book is, oh, that's awesome. Room 237, The Overlook Hotel. You can journal all your thoughts in here. Oh, very, very faintly printed on the pages. Camera probably can't see it. But very faintly, it is all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Keeps going and going and going and going all over the page. So that's actually kind of that's kind of cool. A little nod to Jack Torrance, who is the main character in The Shining. So this says uh, this is actually made by Bio World, and I don't. So this is not a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, so I don't know if this is actually when this originally came out for what company, but I like it, it's nice, I like that. It's just a little, little neat little thing. I mean, it's not bad, honestly, you know that? It, that's not bad. So far this box, it's been pretty good. Here you go, next thing is kind of soft. And it is, oh, it's a pennant. Camp Crystal Lake. Okay, that's cool. I like it. I like it. I'm a huge Friday the 13th fan. I even got a Jason mask hanging up right here that's signed by um, um, Ari. Uh, oh, the first Jason. Ari. I'm done. Of course, I'm gonna draw a freaking blank. But um, Ari Lehman. I think. I think. It, I think it sounds right. Ari Lehman. I think that's correct. I could be wrong though. But here, Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, made exclusively for loot crate, loot crate for limited time only. Okay, I like this. I'm actually gonna put this up on my wall. Honestly, this loot fright box has been really good. This is my first loot fright I've ever received, so all this stuff could have been recycled from from previous boxes. I don't know for sure yet to look at the cheat sheet, but the pennant, I like this. That's cool. If you're a Friday the Thirteenth fan, this will be an awesome thing to put onto your wall. That's. I, I like it. So far, I've been impressed with this Loot Fright box. We have we have a few more things still. Next, we have a bookmark. It just advertises the Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, a thrilling and darkly funny novel about two best friends fighting the sinister forces of their heart of their southern town. Out 1029.19, order now. Cool little bookmark. I'm actually, I actually, okay, I actually got two books from the library a couple days ago, and uh, I'm gonna try to sit down and read them. 
I got a bookmark. I can use that. Okay, next item. There are still... Okay, this is the last thing, and then the cheat sheet. So we've... Oh, that's cool. We have a Jaws metal print. This says Loot Fright 2019 Loot Crate Exclusive. Made for the Loot Fright. And it is a metal print. No swimming Jaws with shark teeth. That's neat. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So this box cost me like around 20 bucks. And I got all that stuff out. That's actually not a bad deal. So we got... This should just be the cheat sheet right here. Okay, we have a little promo card. So, Loot Fright. This is called Flesh and Blood. When it comes to horror, it's all relative. Join Loot Fright's one big stabby family to celebrate crazed clans and bad broods with flesh and blood. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface Funny Plush... Uh, it says, pay homage to everyone's favorite cannibalistic clan with a Leatherface plush, a looter favorite past item. You'll either receive a happy or sad Leatherface. So this is, they even say this is a past item. So this is recycled from a box from several years ago. Past item. Exclusive Jaws metal print. So a sheriff, uh, take a bite out of the Jaws. So this, from what it says, is not a past item. This is brand new to this box, possibly. Bride of Frankenstein shirt. That's a brand new shirt to this box, the exclusive Jack, or the Shining Journal, channel your inner Jack Torrance, minus the axe murdering, with this Overlook Hotel Ledger, Ledger Journal, I guess that must be new to this box also, not recycled, Fog Pen, same thing, not recycled, Friday the 13th, a mother's love knows no bounds, especially when it's Jason's mom, remember your time at Camp Crystal Lake with this past Loot Crate bonus item, so this is from a past Loot Crate box. This is recycled. So this box, these two items were from past Loot Crate boxes. And from way it looks like these items are actually brand new to this box. So what's my honest review of the Loot Fright box from May 2019? I received in October of 2019, six months later. This box is really good. I'm very impressed. I like this box. A lot of good stuff. So I'll see you next time. I'm out.